In this video, we are going to simplify a complex fraction. And what makes our fraction here so complex is basically we have one fraction divided by another fraction. Now, one of my favorite techniques for simplifying a situation like this is to multiply through by a common denominator. What I mean by that is if we just take the top fraction and just take the bottom fraction and look at their denominators, we can come up with a common denominator. So let's think, what is the common denominator if I got a 9 and an x? Well, it looks like it's going to be 9x. Now what we do with this common denominator is where all the magic happens. We're going to multiply the top of the large fraction by 9x and the bottom of the large fraction by 9x. Now it may not seem entirely obvious why I've done that. Well, let's carry the multiplication out into the next step and, and basically see what happens, okay? So I'm going to multiply that 9x into the top. Alright, so there's the top part of our fraction now. And I'm going to multiply the 9x into the bottom of the fraction. All right. Now, for the moment, it looks like I've made things a lot worse. You know, my fraction is a lot uglier. But if we look at just the top and just the bottom by themselves, you'll notice that a few things can cancel out. For example, in the top here, these nines will now get rid of each other. And in the bottom, I have a couple of x's that will cancel out. If we write what's left over, x, x plus 4, the only thing left up top, and the only thing left in the bottom, 9, and an x minus 8. This will simplify our complex fraction. Now the reason why this is simplified is we don't have any more common factors in the top and bottom that we can cancel out. So we are basically done. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.